So how does the company take data and turn it into ROI? It's a great question. <laughs> it's a big question. It is a big question. It's the question. So let's talk about um, you know what we mean by that. So you know, return on investment is it the investment in the data itself, the investment in the data collection and all the tools, the investment in the team that they put into it. That's I guess one form of data. You know, one form of investment that we're looking at, and just having the program to collect the data and to analyze it. Mm. Um, the main thing they need to to be able to do is kind of start looking at their analytics program as a whole, um, look at what it's costing them to have all of this data and to have all of this infrastructure, and um, start making sure that those team members that are involved in working with the data are mm -hmm. producing insights or producing um, intelligence that allows the company to perform better. Um, so, I mean, when it, when it comes to, you know, the ROI itself, the data itself is useless unless it's being applied to actually change the business, to actually improve the program. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a few different, I guess, areas here. So one way to start to get more value out of it, if you're like buying and selling web companies, I would definitely be much more interested in buying a company that has a strong foundation in its data, where oh, I can yeah, read sure, it, yeah. I can analyze it, I can do forensics on it. Mm -hmm. um, because that is where I'm gonna find all of the opportunities to make that investment worthwhile. Um, so I would say, you know, it, in one way to think about the ROI is it actually just can potentially increase the value of the company as an asset or the digital property as an asset mm -hmm. when you go to sell it. Uh, to the next buyer who will take advantage of it. Um, I wouldn't have even thought of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's. I mean, it, it's just it's something that's actually come up, you know, yeah. from some projects we've had. Wow. Um, another area that, uh, you know, b building digital products, right? So like recommendation engines or optimization engines of some kind. Um, you know, these are things that are extremely powerful at helping mm -hmm. people. You know increase their activity or their usage of any particular web application. Um, but they don't work without the right data feeding into them. Mm -hmm. So I would say that's where we can, you know, build data products that are extremely effective. Mm -hmm. um, the next area that would be the intelligence area. Now it's interesting. There's kind of a few different directions this can go. Um, forensics can be helpful for tracking down fraud or problematic issues that are happening. Um, you know, yeah. hacking attempts, all things like that. I would say there, there's sort of like one use case of data right there that, you know, it turns into ROI basically from saving you or yeah. preventing or, or diagnosing, you know, uh, issues. Mm. Um, more practical uses, I mean, are using the data to, to segment and what is and isn't performing in a marketing program or traffic driving program. Um, how do people navigate from one area to the next and what can we do to increase those rates? Uh, just looking at a number of the different, I guess, rates or of, of action, mm -hmm. um, if you know that those actions are productive and helpful, anything you can do to kind of run tests, um, make changes, measure, and and continue to improve, um, you're going to get a ton of ROI out of it. Um, and the final, and, and, and that ROI can be both on the user experience design side, mm -hmm. the interface side. Yeah. Um, and it can also just be on the traffic driving side, like, mm -hmm. you know, are we getting the right people to the application in the first place? So lots of different ways to get ROI. Yeah, yes. many paths. <laughs>